Let's welcome back guys to this, this Northern Dune Dane series. Uh, we are doing pretty good. Now, if you've missed a couple of episodes, maybe, or you, maybe you haven't watched the series at all, I'll give you a quick summary. We are basically, at the moment, we are building up a massive force, pr preparing to go down south. Now, the, re the reason why I'm doing this is because the Dunlans have these huge armies right here. Actually, I'll send, this, I'll, send these guys, I'll send this guy back up here. The settlement here is owned by the Dunlans. They're like wild people. They're not very nice. Then, you know, they, you know they're, they're, they're allies with Isengard and stuff. So, you know, they're evil. They have these gigantic armies. Like, imagine this army here times by five. They have, the, they have that right here. And our relationships with them are getting worse and worse and worse. Now, we, at the start, we focused <coughs> going up north. We one of our one of our uh, tasks was to uh, eliminate the faction, the remnants of Agma, who owned all these fa all these settlements up here. But we took him out uh, quite recently, and it was really awesome. We took G Gundabad. That was a really awesome battle because this is a custom settlement. It's actually a, you actually fight in the mountain. It's, it's just like um, area ball, by the way. Actually, that, that reminds me here. We, we built a diplomat here because we're going to send him over to the Dale people to get some map map information to see what they're up to. Now, I'll, yeah, so like I said, our, our next war is focused down south, helping out our Rohan people, who are pretty much wiped out, I think. I think Isengard just gave a massive pounding. As you see, Edoras is their capital, but all they've got is this little faction here. So it's not looking good for them. Alright, and also Gondor are attacking from the south, and we've got the, the elves of Linden attacking from the east, and I'm going to be attacking from the north uh, quite soon. So I'm just building up more forces first, as you can see. And we also built some special units quite recently. These guys. No, not them. Uh, these guys. Some. Uh, I'm not sure how, actually how, how you meant to say this. I'm going to say Arthur Dane, Royal Guard. If you, you know, if that's pronounced wrong, I do apologize. I'm not the pro at this. But, um, yeah. So it's, I also got an assassination mission, which is not going to be possible. So I'm going to ignore that. Also, something actually, something big happened last episode, something amazing. We swapped a settlement over with the Breland people, Barketa, which is a pointless, fact, pointless, absolutely pointless to us. We don't need this for Fornost. Now, Fornost is a settlement that we're meant to have because we can build some special units from here that we can't build from any other settlement. Now, I built that. Uh, I mean, we, we swapped it over. Like, as you can see, their army just um, deployed out, out here after I took it. Well, after we swapped and then my army... Yes came out of that settlement once they got that. And for some reason, there's a bunch of bandits in here. Now, we're building this, okay. This gives us some of these Cardolan archers, Dunedain. I don't know what they are. But after that, we're going to build these guys. We, we can build some Cardolan knights. Now, these are all new units. I have no idea what they look like. And we and also, we can build some catapults there as well, which is pretty exciting stuff. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I just wish I did this sooner because... We would have be, been able to have these units by now. But I, obviously I didn't know. So if you're planning to do a Let's Play as this faction, you do know to try and take Fornos as well. Also, at the start, Fornos was owned by a rebel faction. But uh, I, by my stupid mistake, I forgot to siege it first. And obviously Breland got, got it before me. But I actually didn't know you, you could actually trace uh, settlements, which was awesome. Okay, right. Back to this episode. We are just pretty much basically focusing on building our armies down south. Nothing more, really. That's basically it. We are sending diplomats and stuff to uh, Imradus, um, also known as, as Rivendell, to Elrond. Even though that's, that is not... Oh, holy shit, look at these guys. Imradus guards, they look pretty sweet. They got, they got some of my men in there as well. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, look at them. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Um, actually, I hope... Rivendell is in there because I want. I mean, I'm. Not, I hope Rivendell is in Rivendell. Apparently, now I hope Elrond is in there because I want to talk to him. Uh, so we, sh we should talk to Thurlin as well. And we're gonna basically these are diplomats. I'm sending them over to try and convince him to fight the war. Well, help join the invasion down south. Basically, so I'm gonna end the end of turn now. I think I'm losing my voice. Oh, who's this? Where is this at? Bandits and rebels, where's this at? Help me. Until we meet again. I don't even know where that was, to be honest. So I, I'll ignore that. No idea what that was about. Alright. So, yeah, basically what this means is that we're not going to have many battles yet. 
me to fight some rebels or some bandits, whatever. Because we're not going to attack down south yet with this. With this, even though we do have quite a big army, it's nothing compared to the people of the Dunland. Yeah, basically. So it'd be stupid to attack yet. And if they they might even declare war on us because our relationships are so shit. So let's see. End of the term report. We are losing a lot of money. That's mainly because we're building new buildings and we're recruiting so many men. Each turn we're recruiting men from all kinds of settlements. And our yes, my lord. economy is going shit. Economy. I keep saying that wrong. <laughs> uh, my bad. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. It's tempting to go help him out right here because looks. Who are these guys? Oh well, rats. No, oh, it can't fit. God damn it. Actually, what I might do is start sending some men out. Let's get these guys. I'll keep half the force here. Put them in there. This is an assassin. Yep. This guy will hold off here. We'll make him join with this guy with that force there. And uh, I think we will actually just go to war with the You know, maybe soon. I think soon is better. We can help out our elven friends who are taking a beating at the moment, who are at war with both Dunland and the clan of Enderwith, whatever the shit clan, I don't know what they are. Alright, um, so yeah, we are allies with these. We've been allied for 120, 112 turns, apparently. Alright, we want you to make demands, attack faction. I don't know, Breland, not Breland, they're our friends. The Dunlands. We'll make offer. We will give you math information. <laughs> uh, we will. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do actually. Uh, do you know? I'm gonna wait. Wait there. I will come back to you soon. I, I, I might wait until we actually declare war on them, which will probably be a smarter idea. Now you can you can go there as well and just wait until we actually d declare war on them ourselves. Yep. We have three horse archers here. Actually, you might get all these guys to, um... Oops. Control, control. It's got nice to have some cab in there. And uh, we do have a lot more men getting sent down, like these guys coming down. Don't forget Aragon. Aragon's coming down south as well with his army. She won't, we, we might try and get them re reinforced at uh, Kamath Bryn, I think, first. Which would be great. All right, we've got a different map sending down south. All right, he'll move automatically. Awesome. Everything is going terrific at the moment, even though we are losing a shit ton of money. Even because we have 50... We, last episode that I just recorded, I, diff, I had 56 grand. We only... Now we have 39 grand, which is not as high as before. All right. Oh, we're building nothing here, apparently. Uh, uh, let's build that. Help our food production... Okay, end turn. That's our little woodland force. There you guys moaned about the units being so crappy. <laughs> so I'm going to use them as a meat shield, apparently. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Use them as a meat shield. So see, see what you've guys done. <laughs> I'll blame you. I'll blame you. Give me like this. <sighs> Oh, it's Ah, I also need to drink my. I can feel my throat getting dry, which is not good for commentating. This is quite terrible, actually. Yeah, again, we're losing more money, but I think that's mainly because we we are building new stuff as well, which takes the money down a little bit. Yes, my lord. That's yes. everyone's moving very slow with his force. Oh, apparently we're not even friends with them, which is bad, because we were planning to join the war with them. Alright, can I build a diplomat here? I cannot. Can I build a diplomat here? Yes, I can. So we'll build a new diplomat. Actually, not. We'll go this way instead. That is a huge force, though. I'm actually pretty scared about attacking them myself, to be honest. 
Uh, we can actually recruit some bandits. Yeah, bandits, great. Uh, okay. Yes, my lord. All right, now we can get rid of this. We can get rid of these guys. I'm pretty sure that there's a quick way of doing this, but I don't know. I think there's like a quick way of disbanding, disbanding them all, but oh well, there you go. Apparently we can upgrade these guys, which would be sweet. We can retrain a diplomat. Awesome. Or maybe we, we maybe we're um, taking the diplomat back to school and giving him some new convincing abilities. Who knows? Who knows, guys? But what I'm worried about is our money, since it's getting rather low. It's almost halved within the last five turns. Or maybe a bit more, but basically we're losing money. That's because we, we're just constantly recruiting new um, units. You, you know, we're just getting all these big armies out of nowhere. It's not good. Well, we failed that mission. It doesn't really matter. It's a crappy mission anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah as well. They were telling us to um, kill a dwarf, which w which could, if they found out it was us, could we go, could we go to war with them? I don't want to go to war with the dwarves. Dwarves are my friends. Well, I hope they're my friends. Apparently, we're allies. I <laughs> caught apparently. Right, agents, we booked. We got a new diplomat, so we'll send him all the way over here. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. And this guy. I should I go try and assassinate some of those guys? Oop. Relationships worsened. Very poor with the, Dun the Dunlans. That's not very convincing, is it? Not at all. Uh, I think we have to have a diplomat down here as well, don't I? Yes, I do. Uh, military access for military access. I'll give you map information. No, we cannot oh, come on. Good day to you. It's no fair. You poo. Alright. Look at these guys. Woodland hunters. Don't think I, don't think I, want, I want to build more of them. because I have looked at the stats and they are pretty terrible. <laughs> I can build quite a lot of troops here. I'll build some more, actually. Screw it, we're just going to keep recruiting men. Your orders, my lord. We do have quite a nice force there. Quite a nice force here. And Aragon is also coming down. He's returning to us. Yes, my lord. Hope, I'm going to try and get these um these uh, elder volunteers that have a gold chevron from attacking and killing so many... <coughs> oh, that's a burp. I do apologize. That was really rude of our enemies, sorry, by the way. Okay, I'm talking way too fast. I do apologize about that. Ugh. Do not stretch there. Try and relax a bit more. I'm, just, I'm getting... This is so exciting. I love this. I love this mod. It's great. It's great. Ah, uh, right. I really hope the Vale guys attack that go that goblin town. It's quite concerning. That's the only, like, evil thing nearby. Oh, we've got a new mission. Assassination mission. Who? Target. That sounds like that sounds like an elven name. I'm not doing assassination missions. Sorry. Should wait. Are the Linden elves actually at war with them? Let's check. All right, Linden elves. No, they're actually not at war with the, with, with the, with, with the Dunlans yet. It's quite surprising, actually. They are enemies with the clans, who are. Down here. So what I might do actually just bring this force down the coast and see if the you know, if we can help see if we can help help them out with anything, and we'll get this like little reinforcement army to join. Might even try and assassinate someone. That'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. That'd be lovely. All right, some more ballista out there. Here we go. Switch. All right, bring it down here. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Okay. Who do you want today? Who are you? You're are you, you're an assassin, aren't you? I'm bringing you down here. Not possible, sir. Oh, we bumped into someone. Uh, diplomat, you're going that way. I right, number ten. Oh great, you bumped into the elves and stopped moving. 
Good on you, mate. Good on you. Just stop moving. That's what I wanted you to do, didn't I? Ah. Oh, I want to get to a battle. This is getting annoying. That's why I think my aggression will cause my defeat. Since I just all I want to do is just go into war. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Upgrade. Sure. I'll grab to a large town. When I, what is the culture at this place? Ah, oh, it's plus 29 Dunedain now. That's great. Thank you. What's the culture at Gundabed? It's, only, it's still minus 74. Still 61% milk ore. But we are building a school soon, which will help. And this. That just increases public bonus and crap. Also, we're also building a granite grand exchange there, that which will eventually improve our our trade. Ugh, okay. Okay. Alright, where's Aragon? All right, let's move Aragon into here and see if we can actually retrain. Ah, oh, we can't retrain them. Ah, why not? No more units of this type. Okay, that sucks. So what I'll do is retrain everyone else. Recruit. We might even recruit some more men while we're here. Alright, so we'll let Aragon's army rest for a bit. They've been on a long journey, so they deserve it. Alright, I don't think there's very really much else to do. Let's check it in Numinas. Aha! Look at these guys. Some knights. Oh, they look beautiful. We'll get some of them. I'm sure our trade routes will not love that, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, we'll definitely get a university that will increase our that will increase our culture a slightly, you know, a bit more. Um, anyway, the big I think the main focus is here actually. It's got one more turn to go actually. That's pretty cool. Alright, oh, we're losing lots of money. Look at that, 27 grand. We're going down. Down. So we need to get this war started, I think, so we can take some more settlements and get that trade up back up. Also, actually, what I should make sure, make sure I'm doing is getting trade rights with everyone as well. So that's something I'll do next. Make sure I'm getting trade rights with everyone. Kamef Brin. Ugh, my mouth is so dry. I need a drink, but I must finish this episode. The people of Endwaith have been long at peace with the nations of Middle Earth. It seems, however, that now has it. I mean, however, that it now has enemies, foes uh, attacked hometown. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if that was the elves that attacked the hometown. Hmm. Yeah, sabotage some of their buildings. Success, ha ha ha. Right, where, where, where are you at? Okay, you're retraining my army, thank you. Richest faction? Ends of Fangon. I, I thought it said me, I was like, ah, oh, cool. Construction reports, aha! What's the culture? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's all mi middlemen. Damn it. Alright. Right, what I should I do now? Let's get rid of them. So build the library first. And get me library up. That's annoying. Oh well. Actually, maybe I should. Just, you know what, what I'll do? Is that library will only take three turns, and that'll increase our culture a lot more. That's why we can't recruit any men there. Cause you need culture, guys. You need culture. Culture is very important. <laughs> Approaching their dignity. Your orders, my lord. Oh, they got boats. How nice is that? How nice. Alright. Okay, we've got a nice force there. Any recruiting any more men? I don't really want to, to be honest. <laughs> I'm too... This money thing is annoying me. Actually, let's see. Can we... I'm going to bring it back to the normal tax, just because I want a slightly bit more cash. Give me the money! It's all about the money! <laughs> 
Alright. So I think we'll do one more turn and then we'll end the episode. And then I can get you guys feedback of what you think I'm... I think... Of what you think about how I'm going. Yes. Because that's a problem when you record episodes over and over and over like... Oh. So declare war on me then. Oh shit. How dare you. Ooh, alright, moment of truth. Capital lost. My lord, ends with, uh, has lost its capital. Now that is th these people, right? It was a Linden. We want alliance. Uh... There, okay, there, there's bands. Alright, cool. That works for me. We cannot thank you. Another proposition. I want your map information for uh I don't know, we'll make you a make a single payment of a thousand. I am not quite a Are you shit? <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> yes, my lord. Okay, at least we're allies with them now, which is great. If only I could. Yes, my lord. Yes, your will, my lord. I want to know. I want to know where the capital is. Hmm. I wonder if it'll tell me in here. Tell me. Where is she? They must have attacked maybe down here somewhere. I don't know. We'll find out. But right now, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm tired and I need a drink. As you can probably tell, my voice sounds a bit different. I'm a bit thirsty. <laughs> but if you guys have enjoyed the episode, a like will be much appreciated. Like, much appreciated. It will mean a lot to me. And yes, alright, guys, I'm going to catch you later. Thanks for watching. Ta ta.